It's a few days into 2018, but I had a hard time trying to organize my thoughts into words. But, better late than never, right? 2017 was quite the year. There were many ups and downs in general in the world as a whole. And, the one unfavorable things may have happened to me personally. It wasn't the worst year for me. There were things in which if they happened to me in the past, to a younger me. Even two years ago, I'd probably shut down and want to hide and disconnect. But, looking back at this past year, and the past in general, I feel I've grown a lot. 2017 was like a stepping stone for me. I've learned from experiences, observing and interacting with others, and I've learned a lot about myself. In 2017, I started making these personal vlogs for fun, and it became a hobby, but because of it, I've learned a lot more about video editing. I also started streaming more frequently again, and more consistently. From that, I hopped on the Twitch affiliate train, and a lot has come out of it. I've gotten to a place I never thought I'd really be, like I reached a thousand followers on Twitch, and I have sub buttons, emotes, and our Slack community has grown with many more regular faces. As a whole, it's helped me grow as an individual. Some of you already know that I started streaming on Twitch in the summer of 2015 for fun because I was going through a hard time and I wanted to make new friends and try to be social. Over the course of streaming on and off for two years, I was able to do some things, but I was still somewhat the same. But I think in 2017, my social skills have improved a bit more because I made so many more new friends this year than the past years. I've gotten closer to people who were once acquaintances. In general, I've learned to be more social and open up more. And I've found people that accept me for who I am. I also feel that I grew a bit of a backbone from learning how to run a community and learning to deal with trolls. And I don't think I'm the strongest person, but I have learned and I'm still learning how to stand up for myself and for others. Partially from streaming, but partially because of the people I surround myself with, I've also been reminded to keep working hard. Nothing happens overnight. Occasionally, people will ask me questions about streaming or art, and a lot of the times, people will say something like, I can't draw, or I wish I could have these things that you have. Which throws me off a bit because I'm just a normal girl. And anything that I do have, I feel anyone else could have. It's not magic or anything, it's just working hard for something. If you really want to do something, you first of all have to do it. Then you have to continue working hard to obtain it, and also be patient. I get wanting to see results immediately, and giving up when you don't see them. But ultimately, hard work will eventually lead to results, even if it's little by little. But looking back at where I started from and where I am now, I can tell you that everything is time and effort, as cliche as that sounds. It can get overwhelming on the way, and I learned it's okay to take a step back, or even take breaks to remember to breathe. Then when you're ready, you can pick up where you left off and continue going. As long as your ambition is there, your dreams and goals are never really going to leave you. Now that I, I've gone through it and I acknowledge it, like, I actually feel like I understand. Even in those moments where I feel a bit overwhelmed, I still have the I can do it mentality. Hopefully I can apply this to other goals in life as I move forward. 2017 was also the year I started to feel less alone. And I understood and felt that I had a support system. In the past, it was easy to feel I was going through things alone. I close myself off, but I learned I'm never really alone. Even if I don't talk to people often or people are busy, it doesn't mean they don't care or that I don't care. People have their own lives to deal with, which makes moments we can't spend together more special. I'm also a lot better on my own too. I enjoy my me time a lot. <laughs> and that's another area where I feel I've grown. I finally feel I've gone to the point where I feel happy alone, <laughs> but not in a brooding way where I'm like, oh, I'm alone and I hate everyone. Just more of a, I'm content if I'm by myself, because I know that I still have friends and people that do care about me. 
And of course, you're your own best company because you can do whatever you want on your own terms and you know exactly what you like. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there's also nothing wrong with spending time with people that you do care about and having fun with them. I've also had to relearn that you can't please everyone and not everyone sees eye to eye. And that you shouldn't put aside your own comfort to make someone happy if you're miserable. Occasionally in life, there are people who enter only to hold you back and keep you from doing what you want to do or need to do. People who hold you back from growing for whatever reason and it's okay to let them go because it's unhealthy. It's your life, not theirs to run. And don't let people tell you who you are or who you aren't because it's hard enough as is finding your place in the world. With this in mind, there's something that I always try to remember is that people come and go all the time and it's important to fill your small world with good people. People who will be there to support you no matter what. And people who will lift you up when you're down and don't believe in yourself. People who will push you to be the best, most genuine version of yourself. People who inspire you and help you grow. There will always be hardships in life. That's something that I already knew. But I feel like it wasn't until this past year that I fully understood what it meant to take your own fate into your own hands. And that it really does depend on how you decide to deal with it. And though hardships may set you back, it's important to keep moving forward and keep trying. It's easy to sit there and dwell and be negative, but nothing really changes unless you do something about it. There were times this year where if I was bummed, I'd take a break. But whenever I picked myself back up and Twitch stream, I surrounded myself with good company, I knew I'd be okay. You can grow stagnant or change and learn. Sometimes when I think back on bad choices or events, there's some regret, but I catch myself and remind myself that if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Events in life, the people you meet, they're all lessons and they all shape you, but you still get to decide who you want to be as a result of them. And though I still may get sad sometimes here and there, I'm at a point where I can say I'm a lot better than I was a year ago. And then I do like the person that I am becoming. With all these things in mind, good and bad, I don't feel 2017 was a bad year for me personally because I grew a lot. And I hope I'll continue to grow. Thank you for listening and for all of your support throughout 2017 Slime Family. I hope 2018 will be good for all of us and that you'll keep trying your best as well. Happy New Year everyone, I'll see you soon, and stay cute.